What's up, guys? It is Frankie here. It is week eight of the 2021 NFL season. It's time to make some predictions. We're going to pick every game except for the Jaguars, Seahawks, and Bucks Saints game because the Saints and Seahawks play tonight. I'm going to wait till tomorrow to analyze those games. In the meantime, here's every other game for week eight. The Green Bay Packers and the Arizona Cardinals face off on Thursday Night Football. The Cardinals are three and a half point favorites. This is a monster Thursday night game, which is something that we do not see a lot. I mean, how many terrible Thursday night football games have we watched over the last decade? But this is a, this is a huge game, two of the best teams in the NFC. You have Green Bay coming off a win against Washington, which isn't the most impressive thing in the world, but they have won six in a row. They're really rolling right now on offense. Um, you're just getting it done despite the fact they have all those injuries, uh, especially on the defensive side. Smith, Alexander, um, Preston Smith as well, Kevin King. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see if Marquez Valdez-Scanling comes back next week. There's just, there's a lot of injuries, but they keep finding ways to get it done. They keep getting wins here. And now they have a tough schedule here because, well, I don't know, actually, I'm trying to figure out how tough it is because they have Arizona and Kansas City. We'll get to Kansas City later. But um, Green Bay is looking very good right now. Again, they've got the offense going just right. But Arizona right now is on another level. Arizona still undefeated, um, beating Houston. And while Houston is a mess, they're still 7-0. They continue to get wins. Kyler Murray is a legitimate MVP candidate. Uh, we, I mean, we, we saw this last year. We're seeing it again here. He is incredible right now. Um, and yeah, they just they just rolled over uh, the uh, the Texans in that game. Uh, now, the one thing about this game that you do worry about: Kyler Murray got sacked four times. He was beat up all game against Houston. And I hope that he'll be fine. I hope that he'll be healthy. I think he will be, but we're not uh, entirely sure yet. But I'm going to say he is. And I'm going to say Arizona wins this game here. I don't think Arizona's going to go undefeated, but I do think there's going to be a loss somewhere. I just don't know when yet. But until that happens, I'm not betting against... I, I'm not betting against Arizona here for the near future. Uh, I just love the way their offense is going. I love everything about them right now. And, you know, looking like adding Zach Ertz seems like that was a really great addition to the rest of those guys. And Murray just looks like he's on... Um, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league right now. So I think Rodgers will give him a fight. Green Bay will put up a fight here in this game. But the Cardinals move to 8-0, I think, under the guidance of Kyler Murray. Give me the Cardinals, minus three and a half. The Carolina Panthers take on the Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons are two and a half point favorites. I mean, the fall of Sam Darnold here. Um, and maybe we should have expected this. You know, we saw how bad he was with the Jets, but everybody was like, oh, don't worry. You know, he's, that was the Jets. He's going to be on a new team. He's going to show what he can. he's capable of. And wow. I mean, against a terrible Giants team that cannot win at home to save their life. They put up three points. Now, the offensive line's awful. Um, and he's without McCaffrey, but goodness gracious, it, he, he has looked so poor and got benched yesterday. I'm, I'm really feeling like we're going to see Sam out of the league next year. Um, Atlanta, good one against Miami there in the last seconds of the game, but yeah, this is this is not, this is a definitely, when NFL Red Zone puts this game on, you go into the other room and uh, do whatever you got to do. Um, yeah, whatever. I'll take, I'll take the Falcons in this game. I just think the Panthers are just free-falling right now. Um, Atlanta can pull off a win here and there, but... Don't bet this game. Give me the Falcons minus two and a half. The Miami Dolphins and the Buffalo Bills. The Bills are a 13 and a half point favorites. Miami has, it's just been an awful, awful season here for Miami. Six straight losses. Uh, even though Tua played great yesterday, he still threw two interceptions. Um, Matt Ryan and Kyle Pitts just did whatever they wanted to do against that Dolphins defense. Um, they did force two turnovers, which I guess is nice, but... It, it, it's just looking so bad here, and um, it looks like they're going to be cleaning house at the end of the year. I mean, people thought th there was a chance that this team was going to make the playoffs, and they've completely fallen apart. Brian Ford looks like he might be on his way out. The Bills are coming off a bye. Um, everything in here just looks like a, a disastrous move here. And then we'll have to see what the heck's going to happen here with Deshaun Watson. They're going to bring in Deshaun as a last gasp to try to salvage something, um, which, yeah, that's a great idea. Put Deshaun Watson in Miami. Um that that's that's the perfect place to put somebody with the crimes that he's allegedly committed. Send him down to Miami where there's beautiful women everywhere. Uh, real disaster situation there. Um, I'm rolling with Buffalo here in this game, even though the loss to Tennessee was rough. Um, you know, and, and Tennessee, but Tennessee right now is proven to be one of the best teams in the AFC. Um, you still have you still have Allen there. You still have all those guys. You still have um, the, the, the the pass rush is a little bit of a problem here, but I still think I still think they're gonna they're gonna figure out figure out their problems here. I think. I think Against Miami, you should be able to do that. Um, I just think Buffalo is on a real, real good uh, trajectory right now. And, yeah, Josh Allen's playing great. I think Bills win it here. I think they cover the spread. And I think Miami just continues to have – their disastrous season continues. Give me the Bills minus 13 and a half. 
the San Francisco 49ers and the Chicago Bears. The Niners are three and a half point favorites. Um, San Francisco is really starting to fall apart here. Um, they have uh, lost what four in a row, three in a row here. Um, they looked bad against Indianapolis. It was, I mean, a terrible rainstorm. So I guess maybe that's the thing, thing you'll uh, have to say here. But it's it's just rough here. We don't know who the quarterback is going to be. Are they going to stick with Jimmy? Are they going to go with Trey Lance? Um, you know, he is coming back from sprained left knee. So we'll see how how it goes there. Um, just it, it's just it, a lot of mistakes with this team. A lot of penalties. They just have not shown what they could. I thought this team was going to be really good all season long, despite the quarterback problems. But they've just never shown an identity. They're just there's just something missing with this team. I still think they win this game because the Bears are a complete joke. Um, Justin Fields, it, it, I feel so bad for him there. Uh, he lost multiple fumbles yesterday against Tampa. Threw an awful, he threw three picks in the first game, including a terrible one in the first half. Um, it's just a terrible, terrible look here for Chicago. Um, what did they lose this game? 30, Thirty-eight to three. There's just there's nothing's going right for the Chicago team. If San Francisco can't win this game, then we've got problems. It doesn't matter if it's Jimmy G. It doesn't matter if it's Trey Lance. San Francisco should be able to dominate the Bears in this game. Um, the way the Bears play, even though the Bears are at home. Um, but again, you, you'll have some concerns here um, with the Niners to see if they can stop making so many mistakes, so many turnovers, and all that. But I think in this game, the Niners should be able to beat a really just disastrous Bears team. I think the Niners covered this win this game, and I think they cover pretty easily. Give me the Niners minus three and a half. The Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cleveland Browns. The Browns are three-point favorites. Steelers coming off a bye. Uh, just just beat Seattle. Uh, weird game for Pittsburgh against, against Seattle. They they were dominant in the first half. Then they gave up 14 to start the second quarter. Um, just just a, a, a weird, inconsistent team here. Um, you know, Ben, I, I, what, he attempted 40 passes in that last game. They, 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 we don't know. what they, They're a very strange offensive team. They don't know, should we give it the ball to Ben more? Should we run the ball? I think they got to try to find a good balance here, obviously, between passing and running, and I don't feel like they have that right now. Um, ben has not looked particularly sharp here so far this season. Um, yeah, it, it, it's just, it's been a very inconsistent team all season long. Still have a lot of concerns about this team, about, again, what kind of offensive team they are. Can they be more consistent on defense, despite how good they can be on defense? We've seen that. I'm going to roll with Cleveland. Um, I'm, I'm guessing Baker's going to be back for this game. I believe so. I'm not... 100% uh, sure. It looks like that's what he was aiming to uh, to return for. Let's hope he is. Um, if not, then this whole prediction goes out the window. But I think if, if Baker's back, Cleveland should be able to, at home, nice divisional matchup here. Um, I think Cleveland, I, 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 who knows what OBJ does, but I think the rest of Cleveland's offense really takes over. Um, and uh, I think Baker comes back, that'll give some uh, momentum to that team. I think they'll be able to... Uh, it'll, it'll be fun seeing Cleveland work against Pittsburgh's defense there, but I think Cleveland makes enough big plays in this game to pull it off. Fun divisional matchup. Fun. Should be a very interesting game, but I'm going to take the Browns here. Give me the Browns minus three. The Philadelphia Eagles and the Detroit Lions. The Eagles are three-point favorites. Uh, <laughs> I will give the Lions credit. They really played hard in this game. They really showed a lot of energy, a lot of excitement. Um, but, I mean, the onside kick, the two fake punts. They, they were really, they, they were like, you know what, screw it, our season's over, let's have fun. And they played they played well against James, not enough for a win. I feel like a win is coming, but gosh, just a, just a rough situation there. Um, Eagles don't look good either. Um, Eagles look slightly better than the Lions, but not much. Um, just could not be able to pull it off here against the Raiders, who are, are with their, you know, they have a backup coach here. They, they just prior to coaching. Can't beat the Raiders there. Just a rough spot for them. I'm going to take the Eagles. Another game that is not very exciting to think about or pick, but I'm going to take the Eagles here. Give me Philadelphia, minus three. The Tennessee Titans and the Indianapolis Colts, it is a pick em. And this was interesting because earlier this morning, um, before I uh, do my picks here, I was looking at the spread, and I believe it was Colts minus two and a half, and I did not understand that logic at all. I'm like, Tennessee just beat the Bills and the Chiefs back-to-back. They look awesome. Derrick County looks like the best running back in the league. Um, the defense, the fr- Tennessee has an unbelievable front four right now that destroyed Patrick Mahomes all game long. Um, they're looking like a, a totally complete team. Uh, it's the fact that their offensive line has a lot of injuries there. They look like one of the best teams in the AFC. And how is that the Colts are favored? Now, and, uh, somehow in the hour or two hours since I changed that, it is now a pick And I think by the end of the week, Titans will be uh, favorites here, substantial favorites. Got to roll with Tennessee here uh, in this game. Um, Indianapolis uh, did get the win against San Francisco, which was nice. They have no pass rush, press, which is a real struggle here. All three of the Colts' victories have been against teams with a losing market. So, really cannot sit there and go, oh, this is a legit team. It just seems like 
Indianapolis is just hanging on by their fingertips here, um, beating uh, you know San Francisco in the rain here. Just, they, they've not looked impressive for the most part this year. I'm going to roll with Tennessee. Um, again, I cannot believe this is a pick -em. I know it's on the road. I just cannot believe this is a pick -em. Tennessee looks so much better right now. They're so much more dominant offensively, defensively. They are just flying, beating the Bills and the Chiefs. I think that momentum continues here. I think we have another great game from Henry, and I think uh, the defense really shuts down once. I like the Titans in this game. Give me the Titans in a pick'em. I don't know why it is a pick'em at this moment. It should be Titans minus two or three by the end of the week, but it's a pick'em now. Give me the Titans in a pick'em. The Cincinnati Bengals and the New York Jets. The Bengals are nine and a half point favorites. Um, Cincinnati, man, a legit contender. I'm not ready to say they're the best team in the AFC North because we still have Baltimore, even though Baltimore had a rough loss yesterday. Uh, I'm not really to say they're the best team in the AFC North, but they are so much farther along than I thought they would be. I thought they'd be a year or two away. They're looking great now. They're looking fantastic now. Jamar Chase, what a signing that was. I know people were saying they should get an offensive lineman, and maybe that will hurt them down the road, but Burrow and Chase together, there is just some sort of magic here to start it off. It's like a Peyton Manning, Marvin Harrison, or even like Steve Young, Jerry Rice. Maybe it's too early to go that way, but they have so much chemistry and they're working so well together right now. Um, they are just a great, complete team. This is one of this is the best Cincinnati team we've seen since Marvin Lewis was here. Uh, they they're just looking dominant. They their defense was all over Lamar Jackson all game long. Um, the most yardage they've had um, in the entirety of Zach Taylor's uh, coaching tenure with Cincinnati. That was an excellent win against a really good Baltimore team. I think they keep that up because the Jets are trash, and I don't know who the starter's going to be. I don't know if it's Zach Wilson. It probably won't be Zach Wilson. It'll probably be, um, you know, who's this backup quarterback? Mike White, who no one's ever heard of. Would it kill the Jets to go out and get Gino? Uh, G uh, not Gino. Uh, would it kill them to get Cam Newton? And, yeah, Cam Newton's probably going to get destroyed. But, you know, at least take a – there's an MVP on the rock. There's an MVP in free agency. Take him, okay? So, Cincinnati should win this one. Rolling. The Jets are – just a total turnover. And the Jets looked this bad coming off a of bye week. They were off a of bye week, and they allowed 54 to New England. And this is not the Tom Brady Patriots, okay? Just give me Cincinnati rolling in this game. Give me the Bengals minus nine and a half. The Los Angeles Rams and the Houston Texans. The Rams are 14 and a half point favorite. Um, that was not the best performance we've seen from the Rams this year. They got it done, but man, they kept it close against... Um, a pretty bad uh, Detroit team, even though Detroit really did a nice job there. Um, the, the Lions look bad on defense at times, uh, bad in the special teams area too, but they got a win. Um, they've had many ugly wins this year. The Colts game was an ugly win. Seattle was an ugly win. Um, they eventually pulled it out in the fourth quarter. I'm not totally worried about uh, the Rams yet, but yeah, just a lot of just a lot of really dumb, um, not dumb, but ugly, ugly wins, and we've seen that a lot this season. Um, but look, they're still a great team. They're still dominant. Uh, they're way better than Houston right now which is just a complete joke. I mean, they, Houston has been outscored in the last three road games, 102-8. to eight. They somehow won game one, which I have no idea how they were able to do that. And now we're going to figure out here in the next couple of days, are they going to move on from Deshaun Watson? Um, I mean, he's, he, it looks like the only team that he's willing to accept the trade for is Miami. It's, it's, a, it's a complete, complete disaster. There is just nothing to look forward to at Houston. At least the Astros are in the World Series. That's the only good thing I can say about Houston right now. 14 and a half. Rolling with the Rams. Give me the Rams here to just destroy the Texans. At least they should. Stafford, you know, Cup, um, you know, everybody. This should be a total domination here. At least, it's, again, I know there's a lot of ugly wins, but there's nothing to look forward to right now with Houston. They're, they are uncompetitive in these in so many games. I like the Rams here. Give me the Rams minus 14 and a half. The New England Patriots and the Los Angeles Chargers. The Patriots are five, excuse me, the Chargers are five and a half point favorites. Patriots... That was what we expected against the Jets. You, they destroyed them. They completely annihilated them. Um, even though it is the Jets, uh, it was nice for them to get a win against uh, such a bad team and show what, what they can do here. Um, the the biggest problem here in New England is their secondary. I mean, obviously, Devin McCourty um, with an abdomen, ab abdomen injury. Johnny Smith uh, with a shoulder. Well, that, that's a tight end. But, um, so there, there's some problems there with New England's injuries there. And the secondary has shown to be a weakness at times. Um and that's one of the many reasons, despite, you know, I, I'm, I am hoping that Mac Jones can turn into something here. He looks like he could be a real good quarterback. Um, that's why I'm rolling with the Chargers here. Uh, even though Chargers yeah, Chargers are coming off a bye week, they got trounced by Baltimore. Um, their run defense is really bad. Two hundred, They gave up 230 rushing yards and three touchdowns last week or uh, two weeks ago. Um, I'm sorry, in the last two games, they've given up 
400 yards on the ground to a Cleveland and then a Baltimore. And, uh, yeah, just not not looking great here for the Chargers, but they're coming off a bye. With all the negative things I just said about the Chargers, because they just got destroyed by Baltimore, I have to say something. Chargers are still, think, are much better along than New England. They are at home. Um, Herbert and those guys, I think, will um, be able to stop. Like they'll, they'll, Their defense will get to New England here. Um even though their defense has been, well, I don't know why I'm picking this. Don't bet another game. Don't bet this game. But the Chargers are at home, and I believe in Herbert here. I think they take control, and uh, yes, it's five and a half. And still, there are still some concerns here about New England when they're not facing teams called the Jets, like the Chargers here in this game. Give me the Chargers minus five and a half. The Washington to be determined in the Denver Broncos. The Broncos are three and a half point favorites. Another game that do not bet uh, because these two teams are trash. Um, Washington defense was a little bit better yesterday against Green Bay, but still not enough to be where they we thought they were going to be last year. Um, and they've scored 23 points in the last two games. It's uh, not looking ideal for them. I'm going to roll with Denver. Um, someone has to win this game. Denver's at home. They've lost. They have seven linebackers on injured reserve. Um, just a rough spot here for the uh, for the quarterback here. Um, you know, the, losing to Cleveland here in this game. Uh, not great on both sides of the ball, but someone has to win this game. And uh, Tower Heineke. I think we've seen the best of him. He's fine, but yeah, he's not going to win you a Super Bowl, I feel like. Um, of course, save that club for him in five years when he wins a Super Bowl. It makes me look foolish. Taking Denver, three and a half points. Why the heck not? <laughs> Give me the Broncos minus three and a half. The Dallas Cowboys and the Minnesota Vikings. The Cowboys are a point and a half favorite. Dallas coming off a awesome victory against New England. They're off a bye. Before that, they really beat down, well, not beat down, but a incredible win against New England. Um, in overtime there, just a very exciting game to pull off the win there. Prescott, the 24-yard, um, just him and C.D. Lamb, man. That is a fun combination there. Um, you got the huge th uh, third down completion with C.D. Uh, at the end of regulation. Um, the 35-yard touchdown to win the game. Prescott, 445 yards thrown against uh, New England. Lamb at 149 receiving, two touchdowns. Dallas has won five straight. They're running away with the NFC East. Um, they've got so much momentum right now, even though they're off a of bye week. Uh, this is their lot tied for the longest winning streak since 2018. In the last 18 years uh, in which the Cowboys had a winning streak of at least five games, they've made the playoffs. Six of those times they made the Super Bowl. Two of those times they made it to the Conference Championship game. Everything is looking up here for Dallas. Um, Minnesota was able to get it done uh, two weeks ago against uh, Carolina. They're also coming off a bye. Uh, they did give up 28 to Carolina. And uh, not 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 the – just very inconsistent on offense. Um, yeah, Kirk Cousins, I've been – uh, very eh, on him, but they did. I mean, they almost uh, they almost blew it all, uh, they, they did blow an eleven point lead uh, in that game against Carolina, but they, they did eventually get the win there. So good for them. But um, and and the, the defense for against in Carolina, they it went ninety in the last game against Carolina for Minnesota. At the end of regulation, they let Carolina go ninety six yards down the field, which is inexplicable considering how bad we've seen Xander Reynolds looked here as of late. So some some problems here on the offensive side of the ball for for uh, for Minnesota. And uh, the defense is still good, but that was, a, that was a weak spot there against Carolina. I'm rolling with Dallas, point and a half on the road, and they look like a fantastic offense here. Dak, Zeke, Lamb, just a great, great uh, combination of guys. I think they win this one by about six or seven. Minnesota will give them a fight because they're at home, but I think Dallas wins this one. Give me the Cowboys, minus one and a half. The New York Giants and the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs are 10 point. Favorites, I, I I gotta I gotta take the Giants here. Uh, they're it felt good for them to get that win. I was happy for the Giants that they got that win yesterday against Carolina. Um, it was good seeing Daniel Jones Daniel Jones showing the potential of what he can be and what he has so often not been able to do as a Giants quarterback. Twenty two for thirty three, two hundred three yards, a touchdown. He ran for twenty eight yards. He made a one handed catch. As well, he did everything in this game, despite the fact that he was missing his top four guys on offense. Um, it was it was really impressive to see. I've been rooting for Jones, and it was great to see him show what he can do. Um, that was the most complete performance we've seen from the defense this year. They only allowed 173 yards. Um, Leonard Williams had an excellent game. And, yeah, it, it, look, I feel better about the team. There's still a lot of issues, and I still don't think they're a great team, and I, I think it's a lost year. But it was good to see them show what they can do here. And now they take on Kansas City. Who, what a rough spot here for Kansas City. What a just disaster of a situation Kansas City is in right now. Um, the defense is pure garbage. Their offense is no longer... You can no longer count on the offense to score a lot of points. 
This was the first time in the Patrick Mahomes era that they did not score a touchdown. I mean, and their next couple of opponents here on defense, I mean, yeah, they have the Giants, but coming up, they have the Packers and they have the Raiders and the Cowboys. That's, I mean, after the Giants here, that's their next three opponents. And that, that looks like, that, that, that could very easily be three losses in a row. That could very easily be three losses in a row for this team. Mahomes took a terrible hit yesterday at the end of the game, and Mahomes has not been playing good. I mean, a lot of Mahomes' interceptions have been batted away, tipped up, receivers dropped it. But he has not, he has not looked like the quarterback that we've seen here last year. Um, uh, it, it's, it's a real struggle right now looking at Kansas City. Their defense is just a complete joke, and the offense is not looking ideal. Again, that terrible hit that Mahomes took. Hopefully he's okay. Ten points is a lot. is a big number, and Kansas City has not shown to me that they can cover that kind of number. So I'm going to roll with the Giants here. I think Kansas City still wins. And I think they set up for what could be three straight losses in a row after that. But 10 point is, is a lot of number. And you guys know I've never, ever picked the Chiefs on the spread. I did it one time this year and I got killed for it. And for the most part, I've picked against them and I've been pretty good on that record. Rolling with the Giants here. 10 point underdogs. I like their odds. And Kansas City's got to show me more before I can bet them. Give me the Giants plus 10. That's it for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to this channel and you like to see, make sure you subscribe down below. I'll be back tomorrow to preview the Jaguar Seahawks and Bucks Saints game. We'll have some more videos throughout the week, including the World Series. We'll have some World Series home run videos. We'll have some baseball videos throughout um, the postseason later in the World Series and at the end of the uh, at the end of the World Series. A lot of great stuff coming. NBA videos as well coming this year. A lot of great stuff coming. Hope you stay subscribed for more. Thanks guys for watching. Take care and God bless.